Okay, so we have a horn sample right here. So all throughout the 90s, you can hear a lot of this technique being played from many, many groups. And it's just not in the 90s, but you can hear it up to today. So a lot of people still use this technique, me included. It's a technique that has been played out a little bit, but if you, if you do it the right way, it always sounds good, you know. I'm using the horn here because you hear this technique a lot. Uh, with a horn, with a trumpet or a saxophone, but really you can use any any sample. And once you really, and once you start using this technique, you can you can adapt it to other other things. So I have that sample right here, and what I'm going to do is just play it with 16 levels in velocity. So I'm going to go into 16 levels. Okay, I'm going to drop this to velocity and choose the sample and just turn it on what velocity does if you don't know so if you're a beginner it's velocity just relates to the volume how hard you hit the pad so you have different volumes so that's the actual technique so there isn't much to it you just have your sample turn on the velocity and just play it like that I mean, and you can take this from any sound, really, uh, any horn sound, or as you're gonna see, I'm gonna play you other sounds. It works as well. I have another, I have that sound as well. So you can use this. If you notice when I play this first sample, I played it in eight notes, right? So if you turn that on, go. So I'm playing eight notes, but you can play four notes as well. So four notes, it will sound like this. That's basically that technique. So it's super easy and it always blends really well with this type of instrumental. And you can take it really from any, any type of horn. You just need to pitch it to fit the, the music and then you just use that technique, so it's just super easy to do. Uh, as I said, I have another sample. Okay, this one actually, it works better when you're using four notes. So 16 levels, turn that on, and instead of going, it works as well, but I think it works better when you're using four notes. And then you can chop it up. So these are actually very long samples. What you can do is just cut them up and I'm just gonna cut it to this. Just that. And that will fit just well with the sample. So I've, I've truncated the sample, okay, and now I can entirely sure about the history behind this and who did it first but um, you know I'm assuming that they didn't have that delay and this is just a easy way to you know to recreate that effect so I've showed you like the basic functionality but once you you start using this a lot more you'll find other uses for it like for instance I have that sample I can use that sample as well with velocity so And so on and, and use that really for 
as many things as you want. So it's, it's a very simple technique, but because the type of instrumental is so simple as well, all blends out really well. So, and yeah, and, and it doesn't need to be like this steady rhythm. That's the most common th that you will hear, but you can, you can improvise a little bit with the rhythm that you use. can get this off of almost any any small chop and just recreate that delay effect and you'll get a really nice vibe if you're a beginner go and try it out and you'll have a lot of fun using this and you'll you'll start discovering a lot of new things as well that you can do with that uh with that technique okay so thank you very much for watching the video peace mm -hmm.